Okay, so um, we're going to set up FeedBlitz for uh, FeedBlitz migration. This is for a new account. Um, and basically, um, this is uh, the FeedBlitz account, FeedBurner account of an associate of FeedBlitzes. And we're going to play with our blog and move these guys over. We're going to move over um, RSS feeds and uh, I believe a small number of email uh, subscribers. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is. Um, the We've just set up a new trial. Um, we're going to add the first site. Uh, we're going to basically tell uh, Feedbits about her site. And we're going to do this from using FeedBurner. So we're going to click the FeedBurner login button here. All right. So here we are. Um, this is the screen you see, step one or three, getting access to the FeedBurner account. And by the way, if you haven't yet downloaded it, at this point, getting the FeedBurner migration guide manual is a great idea because you know what? It's built out of so much um, experience that we've had that um, it's it's really worth doing um, simply to avoid uh, the traps for the unwary that uh, trip people up. So it's very thorough, it's very detailed. Don't be scared. Download it and then you can basically um, read along at home. All right, I've entered the password information. Let's see if I can get into FeedBurner from FeedBlitz. Yes, we can. And we see that this user has exactly one FeedBurner feed. Uh, many of you will have more than that, but we're going to pick just the one feed. Um, we're also going to create an email list uh, at FeedBlitz from any email subscribers that are there. Um, that's great. That's good. We want to bring those people over. And remember, when we bring those people over, that list over, we're going to configure it according to the current FeedBurner settings. So the logos will come over, your font colors will come over, um, your schedule will come over, and all the other settings associated with email. So we're going to click Continue. And while we're here, FeedBits is saying, hey, we've got advertising. Do you want to make some money? Well, heck yes. Let's make a little money. And we're going to put the um, ad into the um, between the first and second paragraphs of each post. That makes it really effective because it's kind of in line. So it's um, highly likely to be read and looked at and interacted with. So it's going to monetize better. All right. We've reviewed. We've picked the feed. We're going to create a list. Let's go. And when I click that, what happens is FeedBits is now going out to FeedBurner verifying the feed and pulling all of the feed burner data associated with this particular feed. Um, not only the email information about um, logos and starting the import of the list, but also things like um, splice settings, uh, the URI that you call uh, the feed burner feed, um, all sorts of other goodies. So that by the time we come back, we've created the feed blitz feed to fundamentally parallel your feed burner settings. And here it is, we've created the feed. A couple of things to notice. It's there's a full feed. We've also got a mobile flavor. Um, we serve a very lightweight, fast, low bandwidth version for mobile devices. And the left hand side, uh, the navigation has been populated. And now what we want to do is start with step two, the site integration instructions. And we'll proceed with that in just a second. All right, well, that was pretty easy so far. We've set up feed blitz. That was pretty painless. Let's move on. Okay, now what we see is um, what FeedBlitz knows about um, the site that we're hooking into, okay? So look, it's telling us we've created a list, but we need to remember to disable FeedBurner's mailing capabilities, and we'll get to that in just a second. And we know that we're from a WordPress blog, so what I'm going to do is click to get to the latest version of the plugin that we need to implement on that blog. All right, I've already logged in to the, the dashboard for this site, so this is easy. We're going to install FeedBlitz FeedSmart. Yes, we do. And that's going to go, OK. We're going to activate the plugin. Dum, 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 dum. And that's done. OK, now we're going to set up the plugins and remove all the old feed burner stuff. All right, so there's the FeedBlitz FeedSmart plugin, which we want to activate. Here's something called FeedBurner. This is, in fact, the old FeedSmith plugin. Right, we need to excise that. OK, we don't want to do this. So to do the integration completely, we need to go to plugins. We need to find the FeedBurner feature that we need to deactivate it. OK, it's done. And what's this about a FeedBurner widget? I know what that is. We'll come to that in a moment. Right now, we need to get FeedBurner's FeedSmart and get to settings. OK, this is the feed URL. Let's head back to FeedBits and find what it is. It's this. Dom da dum copy. Paste. We're not going to do um, comments. 
And the, if you notice here, I'll scroll down a little bit, the Feedless Feed Smart settings, this is the basics that Feedsmith does. We can do a lot more um, fun stuff and the, than the old Feedsmith stuff. For example, we can um, create category feeds for individual categories. This particular site doesn't have any. We can exclude categories. Um, we can do all the feeds. It's a whole lot of good stuff, a lot more flexibility in terms of redirections. But this is all we want to do. So scroll to the bottom, save the changes. This was written by Andy Bailey, guy behind Comment Love. It's a great feed, and um, we're happy to have Andy uh, part of the greater Feeblitz team. All right, so that's done. And now, Feeblitz, any call to the um, feed on this site is being redirected to Feeblitz. Um, now, let's just check on our other plugins. We want to make sure that um, we have nothing else talking to, um, to feed burner. Let's have a look at um, the settings for the um, it's a widget. It's going to be a widget. So we've deactivated Feedsmith and we don't seem to have anything else that we worry about here that's talking about um, feed burner. So let's just do a couple of things here just to make sure we've got the site working uh, properly. First of all, we want to go to the theme. All right. Now, depending on the theme you have installed, um, there may be options relating to the feeds. So if you have, um, for example, a genesis or thesis, you want to take out and remove completely all feed redirection and all mentions of feed burner. Okay, so just remove them. Do not replace them with a the feed blitz feed. Just remove every mention of feed burner. Um, here we have some widgets. I'm just going to take a peek at the widgets here. Okay, social media widget. Okay, general settings, social networking, social news and feeds. Aha! Well, we don't have an RSS. We have a RSS URL. It's feed blitzes. We're not going to change any settings here. We want to just want to make sure that we've got rid of feed burner right now. Um, so we're not going to play with that. RSS. Oh, yes, we definitely want to play with that. And here is the RSS feed URL there. What we're going to do is replace that with landscape. Notice I'm not putting the Feedblitz feed URL in here. This is the, f the source feed for the site. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want, remember, subscribers to come to your URL, even if we're serving it. We want them, you to own those subscribers. So that's that done. OK, and that's pretty much it for now in terms of the integration. Uh, we set up the feed that's feed smart. We've gotten rid of feed burner. We've updated anything that was talking about feed burner, either removed it or got it talking back to um, the source feed. We are pretty much good to go. Let's see what else feedbits would like us to do. Okay. Um, the mailing list. Let's head over to feed burner and that's, uh, here we go. So this is feed burner. This is um, the feed. And we want to take out the email list, email subscriptions. This comes back, and we wish to deactivate them. All right, this makes sure that FeedBurner does not email the list we've just imported to FeedBurner. Because remember, we do not want to do that twice. That would suck for the subscribers. All right, so we have integrated feedbits with the site. We have disabled the feed burner email. Um, now it's time to double check the work that we've done. I remember, remember one of the things that I said was that feedbits has these great tools. OK, so we've done this step two. We've, we've these great tools to check that we've got everything working. OK, so here I'm going to click this first button. And let's see what feedbits says. Success. We requested the source seed, and we were correctly redirected to the Feeblitz feed. What that means is any user requesting this, and we want them to request this, we want you to own the feed um, uh, users, users and subscribers, is being sent to the new Feeblitz feed. That's okay. We want to serve your feed, which is why you're using us, but everybody can subscribe now to your own feed on your URL. So that's a great thing. We've got that working. Now let's verify the feed burner redirection. A slightly different box. Right then, again successful. 
we found that when FeedBurner requests the feed, it is going to, going to be correctly redirected to FeedBlitz. That's awesome. It means that we can now send the migration message to anybody left on the FeedBurner feed. The second thing we see here is that the punch through test passed, and that means that when FeedBlitz requests the source feed, it itself grabs that source feed. It's not redirected back to itself, which means that the feed Blitz feed will be as up to date as it possibly can be. Having passed those two tests, we can now go on and get the email code we need for this site. All right, and we're going to make it email only. Uh, we're going to have a quick. Let's see what should we, um, I'm going to change this little text here. And we're going to have a little arrow. It's the, it's the strangest thing, but um, arrows on subscription forms make a huge difference. So we just little, we're going to put a little solid block here. Let's do that. All right, now we're good to go. Okay, here is the form code that we need. I'm going to copy that. What am I going to do with this? How do I do this? Okay, this is how you set it up in WordPress. Okay, we're going to go to actually the widgets menu. Come on, widgets. Widgets. Okay, now. What's the better feed button widget? No, we don't need that. That is the old feed burner form. Um, this side is using a custom. So we're going to get rid of that. And what we're going to do is create a new text widget. Arbitrary text to URL. There we go. Did that get in? Okay. No. i got to do this. Got to drop it into the right area. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Text. Here we go. Come up. Come on, come on. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Scroll, fail, scroll. Nearly there. Push, everybody, push. Okay, here we go. Let's drop this into here. Where should we have it? We want actually our email subscription to be above social media. There we go. All right. Finally, make sure this, by the way, this checkbox is off when you're doing this. We're going to slap in that code. Give it a nice little heading. Done. All right. Now let's see what we've got going on here. Back to blog. Refresh it. And... Get the latest news. Oh, let's get rid of that, shall we? Hang on. You know what? Although you're more than welcome to publicize Feeblets, you don't have to. Let's just replace that. Okay, so this is fun. You can configure this. You can do what it is you like with it. I'm just going to refresh this. And now it's done. Down here. Right, the preview's gone. There's the arrow. And you can, if you have a graphic designer, they can make this a lot prettier if you wish to. Um, that's it. Um, we are basically done. You can see these links all link through to FeedBlitz. If you look at the thing down, down on the lower left, and that's great. We're going to track all the activity that this uh, feed generates. And that is all there is to the integration. Okay, so now we have uh, the FeedBlitz side of things set up. We've got the website integration set up. We've t disabled um, FeedBurner uh, emails, as you see here. Let's go and see actually what's going on with the FeedBurner feed itself. And you can see the FeedBurner feed by clicking on the little gray RSS icon here. And when you do that, we see, oh, look, here's an ad from FeedBlitz now in this feed. Here is the content. If I keep scrolling down, here are the FeedBit social sharing icons we've added by default, Google+, Pinterest, Twitter, 
email RSS comments and a Facebook like button. And also we've integrated uh, comments into the feed itself. Uh, and the idea here is that we're going to increase in, uh, engagement with your audience by basically um, moving comments into the feed as they appear. And so already this feed burner feed, which is now talking to feed blitz via the source site, is a much more richer um, experience, much more engaging experience for users. And by the way, it's also earning money. Uh, here we have an automatic related stories link that FeedBlitz has also created um, based on the information we have in the feed. And here is that particular article. Again, there's an ad. And let's see, again, more comments, more related stories. Um, and so this, this, this feed is just much uh, more... Um, engaging richer environment for uh, for users so when it's working all right so as you know um, we say you know what um, you need to migrate the other subscribers and the way that you do that um, is by um, using what we call the feed bits migration message so let's head over back to this is not there we need to be in here okay we need to finish the play here now so this is where we left off in the feed bits setup uh, with the form. We're going to click the continue button and here we have the mailing list that we created okay and it's got a grand total right now of um, I think nine subscribers. Let's have a peek. Ten subscribers. Okay. And we can go ahead and customize that and brand that. We're not going to do that. What I want to do is show you quickly um, how to set up uh, the migration message to get get everybody on FeedBurner going back to you. And, and typically speaking, what I'd suggest is that you actually first post about the migration before you get a little coercive. But for the sake of this demo, let's just get going. So I've clicked the feed in the left-hand margin. Now I've clicked settings. And what I'm going to do is click the FeedBurner migration capability, compatibility section. Here is the FeedBurner migration message. It's not enabled right now. And we want to send people when they resubscribe to the feed source, lindsaybellonline.com slash feed. Um, I'm not going to play with any of the other settings. I'm going to use the default, and I'm going to save the changes. And when that comes back, all right, changes are now saved. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip into feed burner. We're going to click the troubleshoot eyes. Again, this is just for the sake of um, the um, Demo, normally this will happen automatically. I'm going to force a resync of FeedBurner. That's done. And now if I go to the feed, here is what we get. This is how we constantly remind people to resubscribe. We've moved up the reader. There's the feed link. And remember, we want RSS subscribers who are on FeedBurner to get the very latest news onto your domain, onto your feed URL, even though we're serving it. This is what this does. This does. And the benefit of doing it this way is when a new post appears in their reader, because remember, we're keeping the post titles here, right? They're going to go, oh, a new post. They're going to click through, and they're going to get this message. And it doesn't take very long for them to really want to resubscribe because they get really tired of these horrible yellow boxes. Here's the other thing, though, that we do. If you click through, before we send them to the article, we're also going to ask them to resubscribe, right? We're going to repeatedly ask them to change, and it's a very effective way of making it happen. And now what we're going to do is click through to the post, and you can actually get there from here. But the point is, this is how we do it. And here we are back to the post that we were clicking through to. All right, so that is it. All we have to do, and now this feed burner migration is complete. Done, done, and done. Feedlet setup, website integration complete, feed burner users remaining are now being reminded to change the subscriptions. It's all over. This is all you have to do now. It's just hurry up and wait.